This is a 1954 Ford mainline two door. And boy, I'll tell you, when you barely touch that key, this thing fires right up. It's a three on the tree and it drives so good. I'm gonna attempt to uh, hold the camera and drive it at the same time. Anyways, I've got to shift gears. Oh, man, these gears shift so smooth. This is an all original matching numbers car. Original engine, pulled and rebuilt. If you can watch my finger here, I'm steering. This car steers super straight. Engine runs great. Clutch feels really nice. Brakes have been all rebuilt. Of course, it's the old three, three on the tree. Let's make sure. You gotta put it in reverse and back up just a little bit. The emergency brake does work. Let's see if I can pop the hoodie real quick. Got a great sounding little uh, original six cylinder. I do hear a little bit of a whine there and I believe that's the uh, air from a vacuum. Very, very minor. Gotta shut it off here. Shut this down. I love these old 50 models, Fords and Chevys. This is a super clean car, rust free, really and truly rust free. I, I'm really blown away. I'm gonna show the undercarriage in just a minute. It is super clean. Uh, well taken care of, elderly gentleman owned. Nice straight body lines. The paint looks nice from bumper to bumper. It's a driver quality paint job. It looks really nice even from 10 feet away. It's got some nice pinstriping on it. Um, but it is a driver, so when you get up on it, there's gonna be a couple little spots that have been touched up from dings on the road. There's a little touch up, a couple touch up spots there. There's one little spot that could be touched up, needs to be. And it just as you walk around it, you'll just find a We'll try and eagle eye it right now while I'm doing a video. A couple little spots right here. There's one there. There's one there. If you eagle eye it, you're gonna find a couple little spots, but I don't think the car needs to repaint or anything like that. I mean, even just from five feet away, the car looks really nice. There's one little tiny, maybe a little, oh, that's not even a chip. That was some dust on it. <laughs> so, um, I, I wouldn't repaint the car. I mean, it looks awesome. I mean, for what it is, it looks awesome. The, um, it does have a brand new set of chrome wheels on it with tires, uh, brand new tires. I'm not a huge fan of these wheels. They look nice on it, but uh, they're not my always, these aren't necessarily my favorite wheels. These kind of mag style uh, slotted wheels. Um, but, you know, throw some different wheel, set of wheels on it or some originals that look good. The tires are really great and they are brand new wheels. So. If it's your style, maybe you really like it. I know I'm not much of a used car salesman. I'm just, I like old cars and I like some things and don't like some things and I'm kind of not afraid to say that. Body's super straight, like I said. Um, chrome looks really good on it. It is original, so it's not perfect. Door panel inside looks really nice. Both sides do. All the interior looks really nice. Seats have been recovered. Headliner looks really good. Dash is in really nice condition. 
original um, um, steering wheel and the horn does not work. Uh, the dash uh, odometer shows 71,020 miles. Uh, the gentleman that I we got this vehicle from uh, presumed that that was probably correct. Like I said, all the dash is in great shape. It's got a uh, new CD player in it, and it does work. Put it on real quick. Um, but if it was me, I actually... Um, if it was me, actually, this is also brand new. This is a uh, af the aftermarket style um, um, tape player, and it's got an auxiliary on it with a iPod connection. It just needs the wiring harnessing to be hooked up. So if it was me, honestly, I'd probably hook this up and just use that. But anyways, like I said, the dash all looks really nice. The interior looks really nice. Carpet's super clean. It's a little wrinkled right there. It probably could just be straightened out. But it's not ripped or torn or anything. Very, very clean. Back seat, very nice as well. Like I said, it looks like the upholstery maybe was redone a while back. But it retains a really nice condition. It's got a new rear tray. So it's super sharp. All the windows are in great shape. They roll up and down easily. Doors open and close really solid. The underneath of this car is super original and one of the cleanest that I've seen. Frame rails are all in great shape. No leaks. Extremely clean floor pans, frame rails. Any cracks or anything that you see are all the original um, undercoating coming off. There's only actually a couple of spots where you even see that. Even all the original undercoating is actually really stout and staying on there good. Inner fender wells look great on both sides. The wheel well, these are the things that usually rust out right here. Yeah, that's a good example right there. Some of the undercoating that's come off. Zero rust underneath. I mean, man, this car is solid. Solid rockers. I haven't found a single spot of rust on the entire car. Clean floor pans on the passenger side. Very consistent all the way around. Like I said, solid rockers. One spot right here, with the, you can see, I'm trying to catch it in the sun. Just right, catch it with the camera. There's a little bit of paint uh, bubbling right there. It's the only spot on the whole car that I see any bubbles. What a great driver. This car doesn't need anything to start taking to the car shows right now. Cruising around town. I pop the uh, trunk here real quick. Ah, hold on, let me put the camera down and do it. Original spare tire. If it was me, I might think about putting, um, no, I'd say that's not the original spare, that's actually new rubber, but that's the original wheel. And if it was me, I'd, I'd think about putting original wheels back on it. In fact, I've got a set of, uh, Got a set of wheels, I just don't have a set of hubcaps. I thought about swapping them off. So it's super clean under here, yeah. You see a little bit of surface rust. That's just from when you wash the car. Uh, it gets a little bit of water in here and sits. So, but it's just super, super solid. That would be easily cleaned up with a little bit of uh, elbow, you know, elbow grease, basically. Just getting in here and washing it, cleaning it, and uh, putting some fresh gray spatter paint on it. So there you have it, 1954 Ford two-door and uh, what a great car what a be beautiful beautiful driver somebody can start enjoying right now all the lights work turn signals work it's got a radio I mean new wheels and tires I mean this thing is really ready to roll